right, you have to write a matrix equation to represent the system and use an inverse matrix to solve it. So first thing you got to check, do x's come first, y comes second, z comes third, and it equals the constant. So yes, it does. So I'm ready to write my matrices. So my coefficient matrix, the x's are 5's, 2, and 3. The y's are negative 2, negative 3, positive 4. The z's are 4, 5, and negative 3. That gets multiplied by my variable matrix, which is x, y, and z. And that equals your constant matrix, which is 0, 8, and negative 11. So if I want to solve that, you multiply by the inverse matrices. So that'll isolate the x, y, z. So then I have to do the inverse of my coefficient matrix. So to show an inverse, all you do is put raise your matrix to the negative first power. And then that gets multiplied by my constant matrix. So then if you type that in your calculator exactly like that, your solution comes up to be negative 2, 1, and 3.